I think the natural light is going to be a good setting for this vlog today. Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Eric. Uh, if you don't know me already, I'm a vlogger, I'm a dad. Um, I like to do stuff in Hershey where we live here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh, sometimes I do vlogs where I just kind of do the sit and talk to the camera thing and today's going to be one of those vlogs. I haven't done one for a while but I feel the need to get back into them because I actually like doing them and whenever I do do them I often get like a pretty good response as far as interaction is concerned and engagement on the channel. So like like comments and whatever so and I like that kind of stuff I'm gonna put my ideas out there and then <laughs> please please comment below if you like this kind of thing there's always that like button and subscribe if you hit those too so you can get more of them uh, hopefully there will be more of these coming up now now that summer's coming um, hopefully I have a little bit more free time to do this kind of stuff I know I've been away for a while but we're back so here's the deal guys there is a lot of nastiness out there in the world. I know we know that already. I know we know that there's people out there who are just always going to have to say something to ruin someone's day, to crush their dreams, to, to just start trouble. It's just the way some people are. I get it. And unfortunately, these people have access to avenues to allow that kind of stuff to happen. It'd be nice if we could say, mm, no, you're nasty, you can't have internet. No. Or, you're a troll, so we're going to have to cut your phone service. But they don't. Everyone's entitled to it. Everyone's allowed to have it. Everyone is free to speak their mind on how they feel about things. But that doesn't make it okay for you to do it. Recently, there's been a lot of things going on on social media that I'm seeing. People just being outright rude and nasty. I don't get it. I don't get why you feel the need to put remarks out there when somebody is looking for some encouragement, is just looking to share some great information, why you feel that you have to be the one to just flatten it. Do you not expect the backlash that's going to come with it? Do you not expect either the person you're targeting to uh, maybe react to it? Which a lot of these people have gotten to a point where they're just kind of like, you know what, I know it's going to happen, so forget it. I'm not going to say anything anyway. Or you're not expecting the support system that that person already has to come after you. I don't know how you can make a negative comment and not expect 100,000 followers that follow the person you're targeting to not say something back to you. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want that interaction. Maybe you want that negative attention. But it's not okay. Sadly, maybe somewhere in your mind, it's like, oh, if I can put out that negative energy towards somebody else and I can feed off of all that backlash that I'm going to get, maybe that's what does it for me. Maybe that's my day. That's a sad, sad, sad way to live. I know we always joke that our parents taught us when we were growing up, like, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all, or mind your own business, keep your nose out of places they shouldn't be. It's just a part of who we are socially to always feel like we have the need to want to contribute. Where the disconnect comes in is where you're not contributing positively or um, in ways that are uplifting, but rather you're just getting off on shooting people down. And that's not okay. Since the people that I follow and the people that follow me are all in the same kind of circle, I know that we all know what we're talking about. But there are other examples as well. So yes, it is not okay when a, a couple that is, has, has been wanting to have children for a very, very long time and all of a sudden find out they're pregnant and want to share that news with the world and you feel the need to cut them down. Not okay. It's not okay that you pick on a little girl that can't help the way that she looks and you make fun of her in the videos for her family to see. That's not okay either. It's not okay for you to continually put in your two cents that you don't agree with somebody um, in a way that becomes hurtful and volatile to another individual. No, not okay. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. It is not okay for you to think that you're the leading authority on something that you really aren't and that everything that you say about it is right when it's not, when you're doing it in a negative way and in a way that is um, misinformed, uneducated, you can have your own opinion about anything. I do, I have opinions about things that probably nobody cares to hear and that I don't, probably don't need to share, but sometimes I do. And if I'm not fully supported in that or if I'm completely wrong, I have to expect that backlash. You can't do things like that and then expect to go hide. I know a popular phrase, especially on Twitter, is you can't hide behind the keyboard. Yeah, so we've kind of got away from that, you know, if you don't have something nice to say to somebody, don't say it, because you wouldn't say it to their face but you can't then go and hide behind your keyboard and just type it out because you're still an identity. It still connects you to something, to someone. What you say connects it to you. So we know who it is, whether we know you or we don't know you. 
You can't come in here and start drama and then pretend like you're the victim. That doesn't work either. I don't know why, of all people, I feel the need to say something about this. Um, am I the nicest person on earth? Nope. If you feel like instigating trouble is a way of building up your own self-esteem or recognition within the community, no, it's not. You're not making a good name for yourself. So, What bothers me most is that you still have followers that don't get it. They still see you as something incredible, something amazing, whatever, yada yada. Great, maybe you are. In real life, to real people, but not on the internet, not in Twitter, not on Instagram, not on Facebook, not on YouTube. Thumbs downing people on purpose, leaving nasty comments on purpose, hating on other people because of the way they look. Something they can't even change or they can't even help because it's who they are. No. So anyway, that's my rant about that. What do I think we can do about it? I think we just leave it all alone. If somebody makes an announcement about something that is exciting for them and you don't care, move on. You can keep scrolling up. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I don't like every single post that I see. I don't feel the need to comment on every single post that I see. Do I like to comment and do I like to like? I do because it's good engagement and it's good interaction. I like people. So I may have been known to overuse the hashtag people suck, but it's true. People crush dreams with their words. People crush each other with their statements that aren't true. People break other people by starting drama that doesn't need to be started. And enough's enough. Enough is enough. So I hope for you that you can see past it, that you can get past it, and just be who you are. Let your followers follow you for who you are without your need to inflict pain upon other people. I think that's the best way I can say it. Keep scrolling. Keep moving. Bye. This all goes back to videos I made a couple months ago um, where I started a hashtag called Before Tomorrow. And what it is is the thought that what can I do today so that when tomorrow comes, I'll have done or left this place better than I found it. Before tomorrow. So before tomorrow, tomorrow obviously being the future, what can I do today so that tomorrow is better? I think this is one of those things. Internet responsibility, social responsibility, is this a huge opportunity and way to build people up to leave tomorrow better than you do today. I want to—I don't want to leave out this element because I feel like it's important. If you're a troublemaker, and, or a troll as we call them, trolls, and you're out there throwing out, spewing out information that doesn't need to be, and hurt and hate and whatever and yada yada, you can't backlash on people who defend the position of the people that you're targeting. Just so you know. So say you say something nasty about somebody else. I come after you for being nasty toward that person. That's not a negative reflection on who I am. It can be if I let it get out of context, but if I'm defending somebody I support because I care about that person and you're going after that person, expect that me coming after you is a way to put you out so that you cannot continue what you're doing. The difference. I hope you realize that. I will always come back in defense the most kind way I know how to first. If you continue, expect more. You've got to be stopped and you got to know how it is. And then of course there's the report and block, which I think people are catching on to. I try not to block anybody unless you're really, really just inappropriate and nasty. I try not to block anybody because I know that everybody has their opinion and that opinion is not always wrong, even though it doesn't always need to be stated. So you can say you don't like somebody else that I follow. I'm cool with that. I don't like somebody you follow. So what? Do I need to go tear that person apart? Nope. I can just say not interested in what they're saying and keep scrolling. That's the way it works. So hopefully you can practice that. Hopefully you can get it. So this is the end of this rant here. It was a very different style of vlog for me today. I know it can almost be viewed as like, oh my gosh, Eric, get a life, mind your own business. And it's true. It's true. I could step away a little bit. I'm not going to step away fully because I like to stay connected. And there's a lot of great opportunities to connect with other people for vlogging. In this area, in Hershey, I know a lot of people come into the park, so I like to connect with people because whenever they go there, I want to meet them. When we're in Disney, same thing. I want to meet people in Disney that I talk to online we pass by, hey, I think that kind of thing is fun. The people you meet on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that, they're kind of like pen pals. Like, remember when we used to have pen pals? We used to write a letter and mail it and we get another week and get a letter back like four weeks later and, oh, hey, we're pen pals. When you're in town, great, maybe we can meet. You know, that kind of thing. I think it all can be handled very responsibly and it can be a lot of fun and there doesn't have to be any pressure from any stupid drama or anything like that. So I hope that's a place that we can get to. And really, it starts with me. It starts with you, and it also ends with me and with you. Put an end to the bad. 
start with the good. You guys are great. I appreciate all the support that you've given me over the last year since I've been on YouTube and have met a lot of really amazing, great people. Kudos to you for being amazing. All right, guys, that's all I got today. I hope that this helps. I hope that this gives somebody else an opportunity to get some things off their chest that maybe they've been thinking about as well. Let's get the conversation going. Leave a comment below what you think, what you agree with what I say, what maybe you disagree with that I said. It's fine. We can talk about it. It doesn't have to get nasty, okay? I hope everybody has a great day and a great rest of the week, and I will probably see you there. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks. See